You know you're not supposed to stare at the sun, but who could resist a peek at this? A new NASA spacecraft called the Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO, will deliver startling images of the sun with 10 times more detail than HDTV. Our mission is to study the sun. We have three instruments that look at the sun 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and send down data. The goal of the mission is to help scientists zoom in on solar activity, such as sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, thus improving forecasts of solar storms. The sun puts out what we call space weather. Uh, bright flashes of lights that we call flares, uh, particles, what we call radiation here on the Earth, they come and affect both our satellites and our astronauts. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Electrical power to our homes, satellite communications, and navigation systems can all be disrupted by solar activity. The sun is our closest star. It affects our life on Earth more than anything in the universe. SDO will provide a close-up look at the sun that you may not be able to tear your eyes away from. With spring right around the corner, it's the season for auroras. Also known as the northern lights, auroras are the brilliant curtains of colored light that appear in the night sky in the far northern or southern regions of the world. Although auroras are spectacular to watch, they're actually a manifestation of violent space weather. These are just caused by energy coming into our Earth's magnetic atmosphere, causing the whole magnetic field to reconfigure and end up with an explosive release of high energy electrons and protons into our Earth's atmosphere, where they strike the molecules, both oxygen and nitrogen, and cause them to glow. Besides igniting the northern lights, these substorms can create big problems here on Earth by disrupting power grids, satellites, air travel, and even GPS signals. Spring is one of the best times to view the auroras, because the substorms that spark them are more frequent in the months around the equinoxes. Plus, the longer nights provide a great backdrop for these stunning displays. While auroras have fascinated observers for centuries, little had been known about their origin. But NASA is aiming to resolve this mystery with a new mission to study the northern lights called Themis. The Themis mission uses five identical satellites, and a network of ground observatories to track and determine what triggers the auroras that occur during substorms. And since its launch just last year, Themis has made some important discoveries. Even in the first days of our mission, we've used the five spacecraft and the dedicated array of ground observatories to track aurora racing westward across Canada and Alaska and time their motion and understand where they occur. As our knowledge about the northern lights continues to expand, Pretty soon, auroras may not seem so mysterious after all. Planet Earth is an oasis of life. But without the sun, our home planet would be little more than a frozen rock stranded in space. The sun is a powerful blazing star. It radiates huge amounts of electromagnetic energy in all directions. Earth is only one small recipient of the sun's energy. The sun's rays extend far out into the solar system, illuminating all the other planets. The sun warms the Earth and makes life possible here. Its energy also generates clouds, cleans our water, and drives ocean currents, thunderstorms, and hurricanes. For three decades, NASA scientists have investigated the unique relationship between the sun and the Earth. They study the solar power arriving at Earth, and they examine how it breaks down into different wavelengths. 30% of incoming solar power is reflected back into space by things like clouds, aerosols, ice, and snow. 
The remaining 70% is absorbed by the land, ocean, and atmosphere. And this solar power is what drives the climate system. The Earth's energy budget is a delicate balance between incoming solar and outgoing thermal energy. It's the balance between those two forms of energy that determines the temperature of the planet. Our energy budget is a little bit out of balance now, and that's due to the carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. As humans burn fossil fuels, greenhouse gases accumulate in the atmosphere and block the Earth's outgoing heat. The resulting imbalance will cause the Earth to heat up over the next century, accelerating the melting of polar ice caps, causing sea levels to rise, and creating more violent global weather patterns. Humans affect Earth's climate internally, and the sun is the primary external influence. Sunspots and solar weather cause incoming solar power to vary, and long-term fluctuations in the solar cycle can impact Earth's climate. As the Earth warms, scientists strive to better understand the sun's direct and indirect effect on the Earth. The Total Irradiance Monitor, or TIM instrument, was launched in 2003 as part of NASA's source mission. TIM measures total solar irradiance with state-of-the-art accuracy and has been rebuilt as part of NASA's upcoming GLORY mission. Scheduled to launch in 2009, GLORY will also collect data on aerosols, one of the least understood components of the climate puzzle. As our home planet changes in unprecedented ways, researchers will continue to rely on NASA missions to illuminate their understanding of the Earth and the Sun.